The world is in chaos. 30 prominent individuals have been kidnapped. There's no option left. You are the only hope. Elite Forces Unit 77. This game is dripping with 80s action film style. Not only does it remind me of G.I. Joe quite a bit, that one girl looks exactly like Scarlet, it reminds me of Akari Warriors and Commando played with the Nintendo DS stylus. It's a lot of fun, I wasn't sure what to expect from this game. But the controls are not for everyone. The game works primarily with the Nintendo DS stylus. You point on the ground and that's where your team goes. When you point at bad guys, they shoot at them. When you tap on a mine, your guy disables the mine. It seems simple enough, but at times it can become very frustrating because if you tap off of somebody that you're trying to shoot, if you tap just next to them, your team will run to them instead of shooting them. Also, when people throw grenades at you, it's difficult to get out of the way. Their response time seems extremely slow, and that can also be frustrating. When you try to run away from the grenades, your first guy will get out of the way, and the second guy follows the first guy, but whoever is in third or fourth place will frequently get hit by that grenade. The earlier missions are very straightforward, just go through and slaughter everything in your way as you continue to plow your way through the game. More strategy and actual planning is required for approaching these, these challenging missions. The game becomes much more difficult. Frequently enemies will hit you off screen, there's mortar fire, there's mini gun turrets. You run into tanks. You have to plan your attack, use your sniper and scout ahead of you and try to pick off some bad guys. And also keep a sharp eye out for health packs because you can't take many hits before one of your team members dies and if they die, you lose the mission and have to restart. Save points are very spread out in this game. It's not like most DS games where you can save all the time. If you're looking for a challenging DS game, this is one to look at for sure. It's just that at times, because of the unique controls, that challenge can turn into frustration. But when you get things like tanks and just run over people, it does make it worthwhile. It's like payback for the times they hit you with grenades. What's fun here, in addition to crushing people with tanks, is the overall challenge and gameplay. It feels a bit like Predator at first, where you're the team of special forces entering the jungle except there's no alien hunting you. You blow away mindless hordes of video game bad guys. Not every mission has all of your four people in the Elite Forces Unit 77. Sometimes you just go out with two of them, sometimes you go out with three. If you look on the right side of the screen, you can tap any one of their faces and that will give you control of that character. Each of the members of Unit 77 has a special ability. Whether it's throwing grenades, using a rocket launcher, there's the one guy who's just like Breaker from G.I. Joe. He can open the doors and use electrical devices. The lady member of Unit 77 is a sniper. And the one guy can spot mines and disarm them. He's usually the one guy that you want in front of your team. Or else you'll spend half the game running into mines and exploding. It's rewarding to hear them scream when they're being run over and blown away too. They've done a nice job with that. The audio and video in the game in general is very subdued. The color palette is muted.
The designers use the split screen style of the DS effectively. The top screen is a GPS device showing you the overall layout of the battlefield. It also indicates when enemies are approaching you. You can group your guys together if you want to have all of them together, or you can break one or two of them apart. In one mission, I used several team members as a decoy, so the machine gun would shoot at them while I ran around behind the guy and threw a grenade at him. There's lots of missions in familiar environments. You have your forest level, desert level. I'm not sure if there's a lava level yet. I'm still working my way through it, but it is fun blowing up helicopters and radar dishes. and it's just such an explosive nod to 80s movies and video games. While many missions do require strategic planning later in the game, it's just such a straightforward explosive action fest with mindless hordes of enemies running towards certain death. You wonder if they could just shout ahead with a megaphone, bad guys, my trigger finger is getting tired, give me a break. This is like the video game version of playing with your G.I. Joe figures, and how often did you have G.I. Joe and Cobra sit down and discuss? their differences and why they were fighting each other and wrecking half the planet and billions of dollars of equipment. Hopefully never. My G.I. Joe battles would just destroy half the basement until somebody cut the rubber bands holding the G.I. Joe figures together. At that point, the Transformers crushed them and fed them to Sharktacons. If you're looking for an action-packed, strategic explosion fest that has a G.I. Joe style to it, Elite Forces Unit 77 is a game to look at. While the controls may not be for everyone, crushing people with tanks is.